All right, hello everybody, what's going on? It is Mark here from obviouslytech.com and today I'm coming at you with a slightly different video. Today what I want to be looking at is Sony Vegas Pro 12. Now hold your horses, don't get too excited. <laughs> Sony Vegas Pro 12 has not uh, been released, it hasn't even been announced yet, but um, you know, that doesn't mean that we can't do some you know, some speculation, ask you guys some questions, see what you think, and that's exactly what I did. So on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash techytutorials, I uploaded a video and asked you guys what features you would like to see in Sony Vegas Pro 12, whenever it might come out. Now I personally have a list of a few features that I would like to see upgraded or just new features altogether in Sony Vegas Pro 12, so I thought I would share that with you and then I will share some of your ideas also towards the end, just after I've kind of said the one or two or three or four things <laughs> that I would like to see in the next version of Sony Vegas Pro. Right, so it's obvious that uh, you know I'm bi I'm a big Sony Vegas Pro user. I use it a lot. I use it for you know obviously video editing, and I also use it for all of these tutorials that I put put up for you guys. So um, I do get around you know the whole layout and try to make use of a lot of the features in Vegas. And there's some things that I think should be upgraded and some new features. So let's get started. So the first thing that I would like to mention is actually regarding the .veg files, which is a Sony Vegas project file. I would like to see the ability to have uh, backwards compatibility for these files, meaning that if I had this project here, okay, and I clicked file, I clicked save as, and I save it as loading bar intro, I click save, I click yes, we now have a .veg file here, loading bar intro, okay, which means you can open it up in Sony Vegas. If I double click that, it'll open up in Sony Vegas. Now what I want the ability to do is when I save a VEG file in Sony Vegas Pro 12, is I want the ability to be able to open that file in Sony Vegas Pro 11 or Sony Vegas Pro 10. Now I don't think, you know, it needs to go all the way back, you know, uh, to Pro 8, Pro 7, Pro 6, but I think it would be very, very useful uh, to have it, you know, have the ability to have backwards compatibility from 12, maybe just back to 10 or even back to 9. It just makes it so much easier I mean, to have that ability makes a huge difference when using projects and when moving to different machines or different users trying to help different people out. And uh, basically, at the moment, if you didn't know, if you try to open a .veg file that is made in Sony Vegas Pro 11, it will only open in Sony Vegas Pro 11. If you try to open a Sony Vegas file, a .veg file that was made in Sony Vegas Pro 10, it will open in versions 10 and upwards, so Sony Vegas Pro 10, Sony Vegas Pro 11, and so on and so forth. But I think that backwards compati compatibility for Sony Vegas project files would be a big, big, big feature that I would love to see. And um, even if it was something you had to enable in the options or preferences or something like that, I think it would be just a, a huge improvement on the current project saving situation. Now, the next thing I want to talk about in Sony Vegas Pro that I would like to see in Sony Vegas Pro 12, or the next version of Sony Vegas, which I presume that's what it will be called, is motion tracking. Now, motion tracking has never been a part of Vegas. You can do motion tracking in Vegas in a certain way, but to have the actual just built-in feature directly into Vegas to be able to do it without going, you know, doing a huge workaround would be a huge benefit. And that's one of the features I would love to see in the next version of Sony Vegas Pro. And when I asked you guys on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash tutorials, there were a lot of you who also mentioned motion tracking. It seems to be something that is very popular amongst the features that uh, you would like to see. And um, I don't think it's a huge feature to implement, okay? Like, I know there's a huge difference between Sony Vegas Pro and the likes of Adobe After Effects, okay? And some people don't see that. Vegas Pro is more of an editing tool, okay? Like, Pro Sony, Sony Vegas Pro has a few more things that are more in-depth than After Effects. But After Effects has, you know, a huge range of effects, more things you can do with After Effects. You can go a lot more in-depth. But Sony Vegas kind of sticks to the editing part of things. Now, I think motion tracking should come into that editing part of things into Vegas. That is my personal opinion. And as I said, many of you also had the same opinion. And if you disagree with me or you have, you know, different comments or whatever, what you would like to see, let me know down below in the comments. So after what I just said, you can tell that there is a difference between Sony Vegas and Adobe After Effects. And there's a few people that don't understand that, but most people do, especially after using both programs uh, intensely. So I understand that Sony Vegas, you know, it doesn't have 
the ability for some of the kind of effects and animations per se that you can do in Adobe After Effects, but I do think there should be a, maybe, you know, a few new effects brought into Sony Vegas Pro 12. There usually is when they bring out a new version of Vegas, a few new, like, video FX and then some transitions and stuff. But I think there should be kind of a broader range of effects, maybe even some lens flares, some proper lens flares that could be brought in. I mean, that's one of the most popular things in Vegas is lens flares. And there's, you know, there's plugins and everything for that, but I think there should be as much in Sony Vegas without using plugins, okay? That's third-party stuff. We don't want to use that. We want to have as much as we can in the original software. So I think to have something like lens flares, additional effects like that, like optical flares, all that stuff, not even just <laughs> sticking to lens flares, obviously, but, you know, there's a huge range of effects, and I think it should be broadened to have some extra effects in there that we don't need to use plugins for. We don't need to pay ridiculous amount for, you know, one plugin that does one certain effect. So... You know, that's my opinion. I think there should be a small bit broader range of effects for us to use in the next version of Sony Vegas. Now, with that said, I did mention plugins, third-party plugins. And one of the things that is also very, very popular to want to do in Sony Vegas Pro is to create 3D text. Now, 3D text is always, I've always seen it in search terms. I'm always seeing it here and there. People trying to get around it. I've even made a tutorial on how to kind of make a parent 3D text. It's not actually 3D, but it looks like it is. And the reason being is because without additional plugins in Sony Vegas, you don't have a specific option to create 3D text, which is actually three-dimensional in Sony Vegas. You can make it appear like it is. You can use Photoshop, to, you know, Photoshop letters and icons to make things look 3D, but they're not actually 3D. They're not made 3D in Sony Vegas. I think that's a feature that, you know, it's so popular and there are plugins out there. But I mean, the plugins for Vegas, some of them are very expensive. I mean, for a plugin to pay a few hundred, even a hundred, you know, it's a lot on top of the $600 you need to purchase Sony Vegas. So I think a 3D text would be a magnificent feature to have in Sony Vegas. That is one that I'd love to see, even that. I mean, that is just a great improvement on our text, our generated media. Now, sticking on generated media on our text, one thing I do not like about Sony Vegas Pro 11 is when we go into edit our generated media, Obviously, we got a new menu in Pro 11, which I don't have any problems with. I, I like the new menu. One thing I don't like to do with the text is the outline. Okay, so they got rid of the glow, which I do not understand. With the glow, we had we had uh, different customization features, like with the shadow here, we've got, uh, we've got our offset and we've got our blur. With our glow in Sony Vegas Pro 11 and previous versions, it wasn't just our outline width and our outline color. We had more... Uh, control over what our glow was and it wasn't just called an outline I mean this outline it is nothing compared to what the glow looked like and the glow was actually I think I used the glow feature a lot I liked it in text and compared to the outline feature I think it blew it out of the water I don't use the outline feature whatsoever because I, I don't like it it just doesn't come out well in my opinion so I would really like to see that just restored to the basic glow function, which is nothing huge to do, but I think it comes out a lot better. I'm not sure why they kind of degraded it down to this outline. I think the glow was a lot better. That's just my personal opinion, anyway. All right, so now I'm gonna jump straight over to this list of comments we have here on the video I uploaded to ask you guys what you think, what features you'd like to see, and I'm not gonna comment on all of them. I'm just gonna run through quickly, whatever catches my eye, I'll throw a comment out about it. Okay, so automatic masking. <laughs> That was something that it's one person posted up here, as you can see, and then it started, you know, popping up nearly in, you know, every five comments or so. And I don't think we're going to see anything like, you know, automatic masking. But I would like to see uh, some form of updated masking technique. Now, one thing I loved when I saw it was by Alex20 Productions, a, f a fellow Sony Vegas tutorialist or guru or whatever you'd like to call him. Okay, I can't seem to find the comment here now. Not sure if it has been deleted or what. But um, I thought it was a great suggestion. Not sure why we can't find it here. It might have been removed for some reason. But basically what Alex said was that when you're in Vegas, okay, and you go into your masking window, okay, so you have to go into event pan crop first. Okay, so you drag this window out, make this bit bigger. And then to mask, you click this little mask here and you mask around. What Alex's suggestion was, was that you could mask in the preview window, which I thought was a brilliant suggestion, okay? So basically, you have the ability to mask over here, okay? And, like, I mean, 
in your event pan crop you can make it bigger and everything but i think to have the ability to mask in your big preview here when you've got all your different layers on i think that's a great feature to have i think it would be a small bit more difficult to implement but i really do i really like that comment i thought it was a, a great idea something i'd actually not thought of when it came to masking so i wanted to mention that because i thought it was a i thought it was a very good idea actually and um you know the reason being is because when you mask here you've got your one layer this is what you're masking over when you're masking on your preview you can see all your layers now that can come into you know a bit confusing as well because you can't obviously mask on your whole thing like if you're masking this layer and you're previewing the whole thing you might get confused on what you're masking but i think you know maybe with some certain restrictions it could be a really great feature and i would like to see that implemented i don't think they will but i think that's it was a great suggestion and i really like that one here you can see import mp4 files now sony vegas is known to have problems with bringing in different file types and i've seen this in a few more comments also as we go up along is better support for a broader range of video files okay and this is a big thing as well like a uh, uh, someone commented up above, I think it was MKV and FLV files to have uh, upgraded, uh, what would you call it, support for those files to be able to bring them into Vegas because at the moment Vegas is actually pretty restricting with what type of file types you can bring in and open in Vegas and then edit and a lot of people do have errors with certain file types, you know, stuff like audio not loading properly, audio and video just kind of desync. Uh, you have to sync it up yourself some just don't even load vegas refuses to bring some uh, file types in so a broader range of video formats that would be accepted into vegas and you know be able to edit through fluently would be a big upgrade too that is something that i see a lot not only on this video but on other of my videos too so i think that's something that i would note also now this is another comment i'm going to stop at and there's a lot of stuff in this comment actually itself. So motion tracking, which I mentioned, 3D text, I mentioned that also, Something, two things I'd both like to see. And objects, so we can easily place 3D object in a 2D space without going into other programs. Now, I don't think Sony Vegas is going to turn to the animation sides of things. I think 3D text motion tracking would be brilliant. To be able to place a 3D object in 2D space would be amazing, but I think that's kind of outside of Sony Vegas's editing range. But I really see where this guy is coming from. Then he says we want a 32-bit version and availability for XP users. Now I did not realize how many people were XP users that wanted the program to work in XP. Because when I scroll these, through these comments, there's a lot of Windows XP users who are complaining that they want Pro 12 to be able to work on XP. Now sadly, I do not think that that's going to happen. I think, you know, they're going to stay with Windows 7 and uh, I don't think they're going to kind of downgrade since it's, it is getting older there's no reason in their newest software to go back to xp now i agree that there's a lot of people on xp they you know they'd love it to be uh, available on 32-bit windows xp but i'm i'm not really sure if they would go back that far however as i said everyone is entitled to their own opinion and it would be a great feature to see i'm just saying that i'm not sure if we will now this comment here we see i really like to see motion tracking uh, more effects masking automatic more extensions of import better chroma keying and more effects like after effects better chroma keying i've seen that a few times on this video also look first fix the chroma here so it works like the new blue plugin there we go another example that someone's saying you know a plugin is better than the actual feature in sony vegas which should never be the way and motion tracking built-in sound effects sony vegas you know it's got some options for sound to have sound effects built in it you know, it could be done. I'd, someone else mentioned stock footage, but then again, I don't think that's going to happen. This is an editing software for you to edit your own things. I really don't think that's going to work. Fixing the upload to YouTube option. Now, a lot of people can upload perfectly with this option. A lot of people can't. I'm among the people who cannot upload with this function. So I have to revert to a free plugin, which is fine, but I would love to be able to use the original feature, as I said, in Vegas. And I'm thinking it might have something to do with internet connection. I'm not fully sure. I get an error before it even renders. So, But I'm not going to get into that at the moment. So there we go. Again, another thing that has to be uh, worked around by a plugin, which would be great to see. I do not think the price on Sony Vegas Pro 12 is going to change at all. Again, here we see another 32-bit Windows XP request and motion tracking in there also. 
AMKV files, there we go, there's one of the file requests, here we go, FLV and MKV file support, better HD support, quicker rendering times, again, quicker rendering times, depends on your computer a lot of it. We've got another XP comment here, more stability, image stabilization that actually works, green screen effects with enough controls, get a clean key. Again, here, right above that, we've got a better chroma gear, okay, so the chroma king seems to be a huge request to have some updated feature of chroma king image stabilization i think that feature is you know i think it's pretty useful you can adjust the settings depending on your camera your shaky hand and everything and it like if you look at before and after the stabilization does come out better maybe it could be perfected a little bit more and then green screen effects as i said that was mentioned a lot before so really we've got a lot a lot of features here that were mentioned that we'd like to see upgraded I mean, Vegas is fairly simple. Once you know what to do, you can get around. You've got everything in one place. You've got you can know you got select for all of your windows, all of your fancy tools and useful tools up here. But there are features, as I said, that were mentioned there that some are just not even in Vegas whatsoever. Others need to be upgraded, and others would just be great to see without having to use plugins. Which I mean, to download plugins, as I said, you know, it's such a hassle to be able to or to have to download extra plugins rather than just stick to the features that are built directly into Vegas. Anyway, I've rambled on for long enough. Uh, this is Mark from obviouslytech.com. Remember, if you are watching this video on YouTube, there is a link down in that description where you can visit the official post on obviouslytech.com and look at all the features that were mentioned in this video in a bit more detail. So uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, you know, we've got some great ideas here. Maybe Sony creative software might cop on and you know fix one or two it would be great to see even just implement some fixes um, as I said one or two new features would be great also then again we're not sure what we'll see I mean it's already July end of July and uh, we don't know when we'll be seeing Pro 12 so anyway thank you very much for watching Mark here from obviouslytech.com and I'll see you next time